Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Helen and today I want to talk to you about the little things we do every day, many of which happen so automatically that we hardly even notice them. So let's dive into part two of our daily life vocabulary. For many people, coffee is an essential part of daily life. So today I want to focus specifically on vocabulary related to coffee and everything that has to do with drinking coffee. I want to start with this interesting way to refer to coffee, a cup of joe. Yeah, joe like the name, joe. Cup of joe, coffee? You might hear, would you like a cup of joe? Which means, would you like a cup of coffee? Relax, have a cup of joe. Morning, I need a cup of joe. A cup of joe. This reminds me of a funny conversation I had the other day with Martin. And Martin and Sarah are these lovely people who we live with in their house. After my country was attacked, we were forced to leave Ukraine and we ended up here in England, uh, staying together with these wonderful people. So uh, when I had this conversation with Martin, I asked him if he had ever heard this expression, a cup of joe. He looked at me quite confused, saying, no, never. What, like, what does it mean? It was obvious he had never heard this phrase before. But honestly, I have no clue. So, which made me think it's not a common expression in Britain. In England, we say, Would you like a cup of tea? I would love a cup of tea. But I know that in America, people do say a cup of joe. There is a chance it's not too common in America either, but still, it's just a fun way people sometimes use for coffee. So if someone offers you a cup of joe, just know they are offering you a cup of coffee. Would you like to join me for a cup of joe? And now let's talk about types of coffee. You know, there are basically two types of coffee, ground coffee and instant coffee. The word ground comes from the verb to grind and the verb grind is an irregular verb to grind, ground, ground. And yes, ground sounds exactly like ground, the surface of the earth. To grind means to crush something into small particles until it becomes powder. Ground coffee is also known as brewed coffee or filter coffee. And by the way, there is a phrase daily grind, which is an idiom that means everyday routine. Typically, daily grind refers to a boring, tedious job, often outside the home, but it can also be used for any monotonous work. You can say, I'm tired of the daily grind, or the coffee shop she opened became her escape from the daily grind. After working in the daily grind at New York Times for nearly three decades. When we talk about drinking coffee, drink isn't the only verb we typically use. How many coffees do you drink every day? We can say half coffee. For example, I have coffee twice a day or I just had a black coffee. You can use the verb take. For example, how do you take your coffee? Which means how do you like your coffee? How do you take your coffee? Uh, with way too much cream. I take my coffee black. Or you might hear, do you take your coffee white? Meaning, do you drink coffee with milk? You pour coffee into your cup. A general term for preparing coffee is make. For example, I'm making coffees for us. You stir your coffee once you've added something to it. One spoon. I can use it to stir my coffee. You might spill your coffee on your jeans in the morning when you're hurrying to work or school. I accidentally spilled coffee. Yeah, I spilled coffee on myself while I was driving. Instead of buy coffee, you can use phrases like grab coffee, pick up coffee, or get coffee. Maybe we can grab some coffee with your friends. I'll pick up some coffee on the way home. I picked up coffee while I was out. Hi, I'll get a cappuccino, please. When you're drinking coffee slowly, taking a small amount at a time, use the verb sip. I like sipping coffee from my travel mug. They came together. Sipping coffees. A sip is also a noun referring to a small amount of liquid that someone takes in. Three sips? Three sips. 
There is another verb to savor that means to enjoy something at a slow pace. You wouldn't typically use this word in an everyday conversation. It's a more sophisticated word to say that you enjoy something, but it's a good word to know. For example, you can say he savored every sip of his coffee. He enjoyed every sip of his coffee. The next phrase I want to share with you is to perk someone up. To perk someone up is a phrasal verb that basically means to make someone feel more energetic or more active. Maybe some coffee will perk you up. I need some coffee to perk me up. This is a quite versatile phrase that can be applied in many contexts. Let's say he's feeling under the weather today. I hope to perk him up with some good news. And the coffee wasn't doing it to keep myself alive. I would find an oldie station. Man, it would perk me up and I'd be able to drive for hours. To grab a bite is a way to say to get something to eat. A bite in this phrase refers to food and grabbing means getting. You can say, can we grab a bite now? It's time to grab a bite, meaning it's time to get something to eat. Let's do it. Let's, let's grab a bite. Let's grab a bite to eat first. Let's talk about instant coffee. I hardly ever drink instant coffee now, but when I do have a cup of instant coffee, it really takes me back to when I was 13 or 14 and uh, I could make myself a wee cup of instant coffee loaded with sugar. And loaded with sugar means it contains a large amount of sugar. Also, my sister and I would sometimes make this café glacé. Réaliser ce café glacé pour deux verres. We never used ice, so we only would take some instant coffee, adding ice cream to it, and we were on cloud nine. It was a real treat in my childhood. I really liked it. I think that's all for today. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, if you liked what you saw today, check out my Instagram and catch you in my next video.